Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 8th, okay? So keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. Hermit. A hermit is about going within, time alone to reflect. It may be a time of re-identification to think about things. Uh, time out. Time out is needed. Uh, time of reflection. So it is time to rethink something. Go within. Uh, maybe heal from a situation. Ace of Wands. So this is a new vision. And this is becoming enlightened. So this is a time of growth. Okay, so it is a time of growth, a time of reflection, spending time alone, setting new goals. There's some sort of wisdom that comes in uh, reflection. So gaining some wisdom. Four of Wands. Four of Wands is happiness, contentment, an upcoming get-together perhaps. This is getting together. Could have something to do with a home or a commitment. And this, you know, I wonder, this could be rehab. I wonder if somebody is uh, becoming enlightened. I don't know if they're going to rehab or they're going, becoming committed because this is a commitment. This is be spending time alone. Uh, somebody may be committing themselves to themselves. You know what I mean? Um, this is some sort of commitment to self. Making a commitment of some sort. This is a vision. Enlightenment, so becoming enlightened. Ooh, this says peace, and you don't usually see that with the Two of Swords. There's some sort of blockage. Denial. Isolation. Somebody may be isolating themselves. They may need to isolate themselves. They mean, I feel like we have somebody here that really needs to... This is blocked emotions. There's some sort of blockage. Somebody is blocking. They're in denial. They need to re-identify. They need a new perspective. And they may need to go within to find that new perspective. There's obviously a new perspective that is needed here. Somebody needs to commit to themselves. This is like inner peace. Find inner peace. Healing is definitely needed. Somebody may need to go within and block out others, honestly. You may need to block out others to become enlightened, to gain inner wisdom. So it may be a time out, it may be a, a period or a day of, you know, taking a time out to, you know, reflect on some something that has happened. I mean, the Two of Swords is some sort of emotional blockage that needs to be healed. So there is an emotional blockage that needs to be healed. But it's going to take commitment. This card says perfected work. So it's going to take work. It's going to take time alone to see the truth, to see the light. <laughs> oh, Ten of Swords. This says ruin on it. Now we've had this, and this is in the future position, so this is a painful situation. Somebody has ruined something, right? This is complete ruin. I mean, it is. The Ten of Swords, this is... Uh, really 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 hurt somebody is hurt this is like a, 
obviously, I mean, the Ten of Swords is a death of a situation. It is the death of a situation. Somebody has ruined something. I don't know if it has to do with a party or a get-together. There could be an upcoming get-together where things, you know, don't go as planned. Um, the Ten of Swords, that is a... Uh, It's a painful situation. Somebody, um, well, this is like, well, it is like a death. Okay. This is the end. This is, this is there's no going back. There's a need to, uh, find a way. Somebody needs to find a way to survive. They've reached the point of no return. <laughs> they have. I mean, this is total ruin. This is in denial. It is. Two of Swords is a card of denial. It's torn. This is a painful, stressful decision. It, this is painful. This is painful. This is a decision, a choice. Somebody needs to make a choice. They're they're obviously at the point of complete ruin. Okay, this is complete ruin. This is rock bottom. There's a need to commit. Somebody needs to commit themselves to uh, heal. You know, they need to heal. They need to do whatever it takes to heal. And it may mean isolating or a, a time out. You may have to block others. of pentacles we have this says material trouble this is abandonment it is victim mentality there's help available but we have somebody here that will not accept help and they need help somebody needs help maybe they need to help themselves but there's victim mentality here We may have a, somebody that is becoming aware. This is a new vision. This is awareness. This is becoming aware that they have been... Uh, maybe they've become wiser some, or becoming wiser. That's becoming aware through isolation. Becoming aware of a choice that needs to be made. So somebody is making a painful, stressful decision. It hurts. It's hard to make. They've been in denial. They've been avoiding the truth. They've been left out in the cold. But they chose it. They chose it. They won't ask for help. They won't get any help. They won't accept any help. This is somebody that uh, will not accept help or is too proud to accept help. This is the end of a stressful situation. We have somebody here that is struggling they are struggling in many ways, okay? They're struggling mentally, they're struggling financially, and they're struggling with themselves. But they will not commit themselves to change. This is somebody that is very stubborn. Ooh, this is a conscious change. Ten of Wands reversed. This is, uh, I think we have somebody here that has is gaining some wisdom. And maybe, maybe they've been abandoned or ghosted or left out in the cold because of their need to prove something. 
Because the Ten of Wands upright is proving a point. I gotta prove that I can do this. No. Let it go. Let it go. The Ten of Wands reversed. Let it go. Somebody needs to let go of the need to prove. A conscious change is needed. It's time to let go of something. Balance is waiting, but it will require dropping the baggage, dropping the weight, dropping the burden, and accepting help. Or going within to heal, isolating, blocking, time out. Taking time alone. This is really about a time of reflection. Somebody has definitely reached rock bottom. This is a, uh, well, it's total ruin. It is total ruin. Nine of pentacles. Oh, this is somebody that is stable. This says material gain on it. This is stability, independence, and this is about self. Some, you have to do it yourself. Nobody's going to do it for you. This is about independent success. This is a very independent energy. Somebody has to find their strength. They do. They have to find their strength. They have to find their ability. They're, they're very capable. We have somebody here that is capable of success, but they will need, they may, they may need to uh, commit themselves to success. It's not going to be easy. Something needs to be dropped. Dropping responsibilities, dropping burdens, releasing, letting go. This is held back by fear. Somebody is held back by fear. But there is success to be had with this Nine of Pentacles. This is an increase of stability. Somebody, we have an ending. Somebody has been blocking their own success. They have. This is blocking and this is success. Because they have been unable to let go of something that they have been hanging on to. This has been weighing them down. They've been trying to prove their point. They have. It's time to stop fighting. It's time to take ownership of your own actions. This is own and this is actions. Ace of Wands is actions. This is about own actions. Somebody has been blocking the truth about the ownership of their actions. It's time to take ownership. We have a very capable individual here who will be enjoying life in the future as soon as they let go of the need to prove something. Stop having a victim mentality and commit themselves to change. This is an awakening of some sort. The hermit is an awakening. Somebody may be getting an awakening. That, you know, they may be going within, you know, having a time out. They've been abandoned. They've been ghosted. They've been left out in the cold. You know, when that happens, that will certainly wake you up. This is, this is defeated. The Ten of Swords. This is defeat. It's time to make a conscious change and focus on yourself, focus on your healing, go within, set goals for the future. 
Commit, commit yourself to it. Whatever has hurt you so badly, let it go. So that you can enjoy life and be stable. This is, this is very self-sufficient, capable of success. It's hard work. It is hard work. Commit yourself to the work and you will succeed. We have somebody here that has been financially unstable and there's an opportunity for abundance. But it is going to be required. It is going to require making a conscious change, and that conscious conscious change will require somebody to let go of something that they have been carrying on carrying. Could be emotional baggage. It's some sort of baggage. It's some sort of wound. What comes before the ten of wands? The nine of wands, which is a wound. Somebody is holding on to a wound that they need to let go of. Yes. It may have killed them, or it may have hurt them, or it may have been painful, or they may have pushed it down and blocked their emotions. Let it go. It made you wiser. It gave you wisdom. This is seeing the light. So somebody may be getting a light bulb moment after being abandoned or neglected. Drop the baggage. If you think about this, the Ten of Wands, and then we got the Ace of Wands over there, there's an opportunity for a fresh start. Look at this as an exciting opportunity to start over. Somebody is becoming enlightened, they are, after a painful ending, because this is a painful ending. Come to peace, or make peace with whatever has happened. Now, this is a faded event, okay? There is some... I know that there is. There is an event that is coming or has happened that changes everything, right? This is a major disruption. This is a... Uh, light being shed. Some sort of explosion that forces change. This is forced change. This is the universe forcing a change. Get prepared. Okay, get prepared because I feel like there is going to be an event that forces somebody to uh, relocate or start over, start from scratch. This is forced out of a situation. This is this is light being shed. This is a wake up call. Unfortunately, it's a rude awakening. Things are going to change really 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 fast. I feel like there's going to be an uproar that forces somebody to stabilize. Good luck.